Hey guys, on this week's episode, I'm going to show you how I uh, turned Raph into the mummy as an homage to the Universal Monsters line from the 90s. But you might notice that I'm using um, a 2003 figure. I like to use these figures because they're 5 inch instead of 4 inch. It makes them a little easier to work with. And that other guy, if you saw me squeezing his legs together, it's because he's one of the ones when you squeeze his legs and his arms move and I don't like those ones so he's gonna be my um, sacrificial test um, turtle yeah test turtle so I just I decided since most times when people have a mummy costume it's toilet paper I'm gonna use toilet paper mache to make his mummy costume but uh, I'll put up what the original toy looked like from the 90s and uh, I'm gonna go for something a little more like an actual mummy because uh, it's easier to make something dirtier and old looking than to make something shiny and new but I just cut up some toilet paper into strips and then fold those strips to make them a little thicker now I painting a clear coat and I already put clear coats on, but I painted his arm pads red and his mask more red. And the thing is, his arm pads, for some reason, that rubber or plastic just kept absorbing the paint, which I thought was weird, but it gave it a cool look, but not the bright red look that uh, the original toy had that I was originally going for, at least to start with, and then I would age it after but it just aged itself by sucking in all of the paint. Anyway, so I'm using Mod Podge mixed with water, and it's, I don't know, it's pretty watery. But I also, first I cover the part I'm gonna do with Mod Podge, and then dip the toilet paper in the water, and then slowly wrap it around and add more glue water with the paintbrush and just keep doing that until I fill them all the way up and then I'm adding some more layers so that you can see the difference between the layers so it looks more like it's wrapped around in multiple layers before I glue up his face I wanted to get some black wash in his teeth to get in all the cracks and dirty up his teeth before I make him his face white and then the uh, black wash would go in there and I don't want it there yet. So then I'm just covering his face with glue and while the glue's still wet I'm adding the toilet paper strips and then using the wet glue brush to uh, mat it down and then adding the water to make it stay and harden. And um, yeah, I did that. Uh, let it dry overnight. Now I'm painting his the some parts where the um, flesh is sticking out, but the flesh is brown on the toy, so I'm doing brown as well on his toes and fingers, and he's got the cheek and a couple spots where it's teared, torn on his legs. For the color, I mixed white with a raw sienna for my base color, so it's like an aged cloth or a dirty white color so there's the mummy and the mummy raft so my two um, inspirations for this after that first coat I'm covering them again with the clear coat everything because I want to seal it up because even though it has the Mod Podge it's still toilet paper so it kind of wants to absorb so the paint and the um, clear coat after make it more like a plastic now I'm mixing up a brown wash and I was mixing yellow because I didn't want it too dark and then I wanted more orange so I mixed in some red because I couldn't reach the orange I would have had to get up but the red for some reason the pigments didn't uh, emulsify with the others is that I, I think emulsion well if, if the pigments oil I guess it could be called emulsify 
I don't know. But now I'm painting his toenails and his fingernails white, and then I'll add some wash to dirty them up. Once the white dries. And, um... But yeah, the so there are some red spots that I wasn't expecting because of the red pigment staying separate, is what I was trying to say, but that's what he looks like. And that's Leo I made uh, a couple weeks ago. So thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to do Frankenstein Mikey and Dracula Donnie next. Uh, until next time, always keep your head up. Peace.